LGD go in for the Rex, and they have done it, gentlemen. They are going to be your grand final champions of MDL, taking the title away from the evil geniuses. It is indeed Dynasty Day. A maybe Emperor is crowned here as uh, the kings of MDL. Is it the year of LGD? China has crowned them the people's that's, champions, That's Jack. the way the meme goes. They're, un, they're unbeatable. They're preordained people's champions. MDL yep. is a pretty good start here for them. Hell yeah. They've had a, a good couple of months qualifying for TI. Decent, respectable run at the summit, but here, a big title before TI is going to give them a big boost in confidence, given the playing field here, the two best Western teams in the world, maybe only VP kind of the other one you could argue in that, in that mix, and then all of China's finest. So uh, for LGD, this is definitely a... Uh, we had... Uh, what else did we have besides a good time? Fantastic time. Fantastic I think time. We, I think Yao, for me, is the hands-down MVP. He he won this best of five with his drafts. And I think even the term as a whole, LGD's drafting was on point. I think there were, from time to time, some misplays coming out from them. We saw the like the game three, which really felt like it should have been LGD's, the Shaker mistakes, the Troll and the Roshan pit mistakes. But ultimately, Yao set his team up to win every single game by never being outdrafted, always having a clear strategy in mind, strong dominant lanes, big team fight, always having a great late game plan as well. Woo! Uh, yeah, it was uh, fantastic Woo! this entire tournament. Throw it up high, boys. Congratulations, LGD. Look at him swing that reaver around. Chop, I, chop someone with it. I've got to agree with that. Like, I think I think he had the better draft in at least maybe four out of five games for this uh, grand final. Um, so, like, really, like, kind of off the back of that because this team, the knock on them is that they're a bit inconsistent. Like, they look a little bit lost at times. Other times they look really good. Um, the draft is just such a key point in terms of, you know, keeping that momentum, keeping them on the right track. So... I gotta give y'all the credit. In terms of play, though, I, I've been really impressed by uh, AME's play. Um, the knock on him used to be that. Oh, so that's Ho Ho78 congratulating LGD. I did it first. Battle Fury, beautiful game. He's saying, I, well, I guess we can translate this, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want to translate it, Jack? Sure. Oh, you're nice. You're if nice. I can, if I can hear him, I can hear myself, of course, too, but I can't. Uh, so after those two games, we, we all came to the same conclusion with our coach, which is just, just play good Dota, just enjoy the game. Don't, don't, don't be too uh, shackled to Everyone keeps saying that uh, our goal is to just is to just break out and like break through from where we were before because we always seem to you know not get to where we wanted to be so we want to get past that point this year. Obviously the crowd just now just repeated that meme, but they're supposed to be the champions. So we'll see if they can break that curse. The uh, the TI odd year curse. Congratulations. Good luck at TI. Woo! Congratulations. MDL. LGD, Legoundier, the hottest sauce in the land. <laughs> Reaver, it's all yours, the women. What the maybe money. do with the battle for you? Give that to Ame, man. You Manny. can barely lift the thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ame's the heavy uh, lifter here. Come uh, on, guys. Give it, give it the script. It is not how this was meant to end. You know, you got the five-game series right, but you didn't get the post-game ceremony right. Wrong player holding the Battle Fury.